all-time greats in volleyball in the history of this planet, uh, Karch Karai, a multi-gold medalist, uh, women's national team coach, and tonight, broadcaster of the BYU Pepperdine women's volleyball match. It's great to have you back on BYU TV, Karch. Thank you. Always great to be here in Provo. I love visiting. Let's, uh, I don't even know where to start with you. Perhaps sorry, not sorry on the BYU men's win over U your UCLA Bruins last night? <laughs> <laughs> don't ever apologize. We it just means we've got more work to do. So. <laughs> Good attitude. Don't ever, uh, don't ever feel sorry for the Bruins. And it, we experienced that a lot with our USA women's team. Nobody ever feels sorry for us. They all want to see us lose. And uh, so props to BYU. And we, got, uh, we Bruins have work to do. And let's talk about your connections to BYU. And let's start with the uh, USA women's national coach. So Mary Lake was on the roster this summer. Exactly. Uh, BYU's favorite daughter, if you will, and uh, lost her passport at one point. And she ends <laughs> Some up being adventures. A, yes, she ends up being a part of the gold medal winning team in the Volleyball Nations League. What was it like to have Mary Lake on the squad? Uh, Mary was a great addition to our program. Um, really got to give her a lot of props. She had to think about it, uh, think about the opportunity to come spend some time with us this past season. Um, wasn't sure how she would do and really threw herself into it with the unknown and the big challenge. And so, yes, we went on with her and obviously lots of great, great players who made major contributions to win the gold medal in Nations League and then accomplish our, our biggest goal for the year, which is right after that, a few weeks later, early August, win a mini tournament of three matches in less than 48 hours to earn the right to go to the Tokyo Olympics and compete. And congrats on that. Looking forward to that next, Thank you. next summer. That'll yeah, awesome. and then right after that, Mary headed here to begin. So she didn't get much of a break this no break. summer. No break, yeah. And uh, headed here to begin work again for her senior season with Heather Olmsted, who does an amazing job here. Props to her uh, and all the good work she does with the BYU Lady Cougars program. Well, speaking of Heather Olmstead, a legend here at BYU, and, and obviously the head, head coach of the Cougars, her dad, Rick, is a uh, longtime connection. You have a connection with the Olmstead family. Talk about that a little bit. Absolutely. He was my high school coach at Santa Barbara High. Fantastic coach. Love Rick. Uh, he and I actually played a few beach volleyball tournaments together as partner. Nice. We, we played together in the first ever professional volleyball tournament that was ever held in 1976 I think it was in Santa Monica at Will Rogers State Beach wow. and you chose didn't win Rick any Olmstead. prize didn't win any prize money <laughs> wanted uh, even if we had um, I didn't want to take any and couldn't take any because I wanted to maintain my college eligibility I was still in high school at the time but um, so you played with your coach I played with my coach That's amazing. Uh, he schooled us a lot on the beach in <laughs> uh, in uh, East Beach in Santa Barbara and then great great coach at, um, at at Santa Barbara learned so much just about hard work and what it took to be great um, we took it upon ourselves he would give us these voluntary workouts and we just worked our we learned to work our tails off and as it turned out we had an undefeated year our senior season you guys might have a photo I think maybe we have a you photo. even throw that up and at you're the, holding sean olmstead yes. as a baby. <laughs> this is amazing baby sean and that was at the end awesome. of of a an undefeated senior season next to me is john hanley one of our other great players for santa barbara high school went on to a great college career and beach career and there's little sean as we had <laughs> just won the championship of course now sean doing a great job with the men's program here at byu but the uh, um, and, and I, of course, knew Heather through the Olmstead family, and so um, love Rick's wife, Trudy, too. Uh, the trick with Rick, he's, a, he's also a great referee. Yes. He's been done, doing it for many years, but we're still trying to figure out how to lure him, you know, when BYU gets to the NCAA semifinals, the NCAA finals. He gets so stressed, he won't go and watch in person. So we're still trying to figure <laughs> out how do we get him there to cheer his uh, daughter on when coaching the BYU women's team or his son on if it's the men's team. Pretty remarkable, not only his connection to you, but what his kids have done in the game. And just, it's just wild. Um, one of your assistants is a BYU guy, Lucas Slabe, um, in his first or second year. And I remember you coming to town and kind of scouting out Luca. Yeah. We had you on a uh, men's volleyball broadcast. How's Luca done? He, he can be an intense, fiery guy. Uh, He's doing a great job. We love having him. Yes, I came up just about two years ago, uh, just as the men's season was starting, I think in early uh, 2018. 
and uh, Luca, the men had a, the BYU men had a really good season. So they finally lost out of the NCAAs on Thursday in the semifinals. He was in our office on Friday. Oh, About wow. six days later, we left to go on Nations League. So he just <laughs> dove into the deep end and has been doing a great job ever since. We're super excited to have him as a part of our staff and super excited that he uh, contributes so much in our efforts. As I said, we locked down a berth to Tokyo, and so all of our planning now is uh, looking toward the start of that Olympics. The, uh, the opening ceremonies are July 24th next year, and we're hoping to have put together a really special tournament there. Is he still using the big... Clipboard, yes, he is. He's got the big, the, the, the okay. extra model. It's got to have it almost, it, it's got to be packed in a special bag so it doesn't break because <laughs> our it's, coaching I mean, it's, bags it's big, are soft. Yeah. He puts it in uh, one of the equipment bags and uh, he learned that, uh, I think he might have learned that one from Marv Dunphy, one of, one of my coaching mentors and uh, Marv, um, we were talking about it before, uh, how Marv did his doctoral thesis on John Wooden. So Marv's just a, 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 another one of the all time greats in coaching in any sport but coached at Pepperdine for a long time so and, and got his and got his doctorate at BYU exactly so another yeah. connection yeah another connection so yeah. as we were just looking at on screen it, it was showing your extensive resume and uh, greatest volleyball player of the 20th century uh, hundreds of matches won and, and I'm, I'm curious now now we're in 2019 how would you describe the evolution of volleyball to this point stylistically and how it's played uh, certainly it's more of a power game now um, most of my career when I played indoors, there wasn't the power, and I'm talking men especially, mm -hmm. there wasn't the power serving that there is now. Internationally and collegiately, if you don't have a lot of guns to start the rally uh, when your team is serving, you're going to be struggling because you have to do something to slow down the offense on the other side of the net. With a perfect pass, they're very, very difficult to stop. And so people like Taylor Sander, one of the all-time greats here at BYU, one of the things he brings to any team he plays for is a great jump spin serve. It's less common in the women's game, but uh, because there aren't enough people with the power to actually cause trouble. Uh, but that's a big factor. And then uh, the integration of back row attack is much bigger now than it used to be. Uh, BYU and all the other men's college teams do a nice job with that. But it's becoming more and more a part of international women's volleyball also. And we saw it last year with the BYU women's team, somebody like Ronnie Jones-Perry. Mm -hmm. Very effective out of the back row. So that's, uh, those are the power and the fact that the athletes are taller, jumping higher, and hitting more effectively out of the back row. Those are a couple of big ones. Interesting. And let's finish with uh, the match at hand tonight, which you're here to call with Paul Sunderland. What a, what a duo for this match. We're excited to have you guys. Uh, BYU and Pepperdine. BYU trying to get the best seed they can. Pepperdine trying to get in the tourney. You're right. Um, this is a very important match, I think, for both teams. Uh, BYU got to host as one of the top four seeds all the way through, and the atmosphere here last year playing Texas in that regional final. I'm getting major goosebumps thinking about it. I wasn't here, but just seeing it on television was yeah. fantastic. Love the BYU crowds uh, and how much passion they have. So BYU now trying to get maybe a top 16 seed and the right to at least host the first two rounds. BYU is not really in the running to get a top four seed and maybe host the regional rounds. And then Pepperdine just working to get into the tournament. This seems like uh, a near must win for Pepperdine. And Pepperdine's put together a really strong WC season, WCC season, beating USD, giving them their only yeah. loss. BYU coming up short twice in the five set matches. So I'm excited. It should be a great match and lots of implications in this uh, that carry to the selection show and beyond. Absolutely. Well, it was great to have you in studio. Always great to see you. And would you mind signing our flag back here? Would Love to. Would that be all right? Awesome. Okay. There you are. Thanks, Pride guys. The flag. Now we got to actually protect this flag, you know? <laughs> and, and, and now coming up, if you missed the BYU basketball game on ESPN last night, you missed a great win for the Cougars, and you missed Bill Walton. But don't worry, we've got you covered with the best of Bill. And BYU buzzer beaters in Mallory, we're going to show you that from 92. This is BYU Sports Nation.